Hello there, welcome back to the channel. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, I'm your host, Amy from Penventure. Welcome to another Fountain Pen review. And I have been missing out on having a Fountain Pen review on our channel for quite some time. So do you? Today, I'm gonna showcase the Leonardo Officina Italiana, Momento Zero Grande, Ebonite Masterpiece. I don't think I'm the only one who believes this, but here we go. I think Leonardo of China Italiana set up sort of a tradition that each year we can expect something incredible in their collection of writing instruments done in Ebonite. This fountain pen collection was launched at the end part of the previous year, but I didn't have time to showcase it. Today I said what better way to start this day than with a video review for the entire Ebonite Masterpiece collection of Leonardo of China Italiana. With that being said, let's proceed. In True Pen Venture Style, I'm going to show you the customer experience, I'm going to show you the details of each individual colors. We have three colors of this collection, side-by-side -side size comparison, writing sample with the 14 karat gold, Lafini Snip, and in the end, I'm going to share some of my personal opinions regarding this creation, and we are going to end the video. Let me show you first the customer experience. This is the sort of box that you can have when you order a Leonardo Momento Zero Grande Ebonite Masterpiece. Special limited edition. This motif you'll find it on the cap band. Let's remove like so and inside you will find a international warranty certificate, a bottle of black ink and the fountain pen right here resting. Well it's not inside this box because I wanted to showcase it after the customer experience. And we have three beautiful, beautiful colors of this collection. Take a look at this. Nothing goes better than saying ebonite and fountain pens because ebonite is a fountain pen material which is very, very resilient. It is very, very nice to see it in our days used for creating fountain pens. What you see right here is three iconic colors which in the past are being used by Delta, which is the heritage of Leonardo of China Italiana. Right here we have Flame, which is this beautiful, beautiful brown and black combination. Moving further in the middle we have this beautiful, beautiful rosewood ebonite, black with red. And we have this green, this beautiful, beautiful green which let's call it British green because in the past I think one of the creations from uh, Delta was using sort of the same ebonite and it was called British green. I'm gonna base my review on the flame model because rosewood and green was showcased in the past by Leonardo of China Italiana and I think this flame brown ebonite is the first time that they used it. I'm gonna use other creations of ebonite which Leonardo did in the past to showcase some of the details that made their own way into this creation, what's the same and what is different. Let's go and analyze first of all the cap and right here is the finial and this is the same pointy finial on the Momento Zero Grande series on different fountain pads and I have here a Momento Zero Grande Art Deco first edition fountain pen, the same pointy finial like on this one. The same clip with the wheel which is very practical and you can clip the fountain pen and keep it secure like this. The overall shape of the cap starts to pick up in girth from right here towards the cap band and the cap band configuration is one which is used the first time on the Supernova series and I have the fountain pen which used this cap band configuration for the first time at Leonardo. Beautiful details on the cap band, this geometric design and on the back opposite to the clip right here we have engraved Italy and this is a stunning stunning combination with two smaller rings and centered in between we have this larger cap band. And let's analyze this part right here because this transition in between the cap and the barrel is not like on the Supernova which is flushed. It is more similar to the Art Deco series in two steps. Also it goes with another Art Deco which was introduced after the first edition. I think this is the second edition. Let's uncap the fountain pen and one and I think quarter of a turn to uncap the fountain pen and we 
take a glimpse at the nib. This is the Leonardo La Fenice new style of a nib, which is beautiful and it screams Leonardo. This is stamped the entire motif of this nib and it is not laser engraved. And I have here one which was laser engraved side by side this one. So you can clearly see that we have some improvements. And Leonardo shows that they are evolving and they are trying to offer you a lot more for your support in their collection of writing instruments. And nothing goes better with this 14 karat gold Lafinese nibs than having ebonite feeders to power them. And I have one right here, which I can show you how it looks. And uh, this is cut in-house by Leonardo of China Italiana. And this offers a very nice and rich ink flow towards this beautiful, beautiful nib. Let's move further and let's analyze the ergonomics, how you would grip the fountain pen. I do have right here the Art Deco series. So this is the first Ebonite Art Deco and you can clearly see that we have a section which is very different from the one that we have on the masterpiece Ebonite. And we have this two steps right here, which transitions into uh, this ring on the section for the masterpiece Ebonite. We do have something which is much, much more similar than uh, you would think with the second series of the Art Deco. We do have the treads and the section right here, which is sloping in towards the nib, gradually losing a little bit of diameter and makes the fountain pen to feel very, very comfortable. I think it fits very, very well, this fountain pen. Right here, we have the capping threads. Those are not sharp at all, but if you use the fountain pen for extended periods of writing, I do believe this will make you uh, feel them a little bit more than if you would grip the fountain pen from the section itself. On the side of the section right here, we have engraved Leonardo and the number of the limited edition 003 of 100 fountain pens. Then we have this part right here and this ring, a step up. This is not sharp at all. The shape of the barrel is very, very nice streamlined. It flows from this point, which is the girthiest point towards this ring, which marks the finishing of the barrel. And it is going to drop in diameter around this point And from this one, ending with this conical shape, which is the same like the one that you have on the cap of the fountain pen. If you are asking how you would ink up this fountain pen, say no more. On the Leonardo of China Italiana Masterpiece Ebonite Collection, you will have equipped a in-house built piston filling mechanism. The whole assembly is made out of aluminum. It is very robust, easy to operate, and uh, most important, you can disassemble it with that tool provided by Leonardo, and you can access the inside of the piston for cleaning purposes or for greasing the, the inner piston. Pretty much this is what I had in regards of details for the Masterpiece Ebonite Collection Flame, Rosewood and Green, but I like to call it British Green. And these fountain pens are part of a limited edition of only 100 pieces for each of the three colors. So we have 300 fountain pens in total. The price of this fountain pen is 500 euros Novat for the extra fine, fine, medium, broad and the 1.4 millimeter stub. And for the elastic fine and elastic extra fine nibs, those are going to make the price of the fountain pen to be 530 euros Novat. In regards of details, this is what I have for you on the Ebonite Masterpiece Collection from Leonardo of China Italiana. Now it is time for the side-by-side -side size comparison because this being a Momento Zero Grande fountain pen model, it is slightly different and I'm going to show you how and where. So I'm going to use other fountain pens. If you are a fan of Ebonite fountain pens from Leonardo of China Italiana, you will find this size comparison very, very nice. Let's proceed. And since my pen tray is black and we do have two black fountain pens, the, the size comparison wasn't working. So we do have a white background right here. Leonardo Momento Zero Grande Ebonite Masterpiece next to a Leonardo Momento Zero Grande Art Deco first edition, second edition, Visconti Homo Sapiens and Leonardo Supernova PM4. Capped, we do have a oversized fountain pen which sits in between the Art Deco new version and the initial version. In regards of 
length it is very similar with a Leonardo Supernova PM4 and it is slightly taller than a Visconti Homo sapiens. Now let's have a look uncapped. The same fountain pens, toe to toe, Ebonite Masterpiece is very similar with the first edition of the Ardeco series. It is shorter than the Supernova. The Art Deco new series, it is slightly longer and we can clearly see that the fountain pen, the Ebonite Masterpiece is taller than a Visconti Homo sapiens. Kept like this, the Masterpiece Ebonite measures 150 millimeters, uncapped like this it measures 137 millimeters posted like this it measures 174 millimeters the total weight of the fountain pen ink cap and or posted is 32 grams and uncapped like this in writing position is 20 grams it is time for the writing sample and just like i told you i'm gonna use the 1.4 millimeter stop because this is the only size which is different from the other ones that were previously available. Pen, Leonardo, uh, and this is the Momento Zero Grande, Ebonite Masterpiece. And this is Flame. As for an ink, I went with uh, the Leonardo Black because that was available on uh, the box and uh, I'm gonna keep it like so because I want you to have available the same ink that I had in this review. Leonardo Black uh, Nib. This is the 14 carat size 6. La Fenice, and this is 1.4 millimeter stub and I'm gonna move the notebook a little bit higher because this nib is very broad and I need a lot of uh, space on the page and let's check the wetness of this nib ooh 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 so so good double pass as you can clearly see we do have a tamed ink flow on the west side but it's not a fire hose wet it doesn't go to the end of the page right here it goes to the middle of the page which i think it's a splendid way to have both something which you can use practical and also something that you can enjoy to see the the color of an ink like usual normal figure of eights and this is already a very very broad nib 1.4 millimeter with some natural line variation offered by the grind and i'm going to show you this horizontal versus vertical and as you can clearly see we do have line variation which is natural offered by the grinding of this tip which is actually like a square as you can if you watch the nib like so it's a square very thin lines like this and much more broader like this 1.4 millimeter is referring to this line right here and not the one which goes uh, horizontal flex this nib and i don't recommend you doing so because you already have a 1.4 millimeter nib which offers an insane amount of ink and line variation but if you press on this nib a little bit you will do have some line variation which is done by those two tines that spread away and lets a lot more ink to come down on the paper you can see this right here now let's use this nib for the famous sentence the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. You can clearly see a nib which is very very consistent from my usual experience with the Lafinis nib, I can tell you that they do have a little bit more feedback than the previous ones. 
they do run maybe a little bit more tamed and not that wet much more true to their size so an extra fine will be like an extra fine a fine like a fine and so on each and every nib can be individually checked and tuned by ourselves so if you want such a fountain pen and you want a specific way that the nib to write leave some directions for me to follow in the order notes and i will take care of that now it is time for my personal opinion regarding this fountain pens. I don't know where to start because I like this fountain pens a lot. And I do own quite a few Leonardo Momento Zero Grandes made out of Ebonite, like you've seen in the demonstration, the Art Deco series, first edition, second edition, and I do have an Herculaneum uh, edition which has that gorgeous gorgeous size 8 gold nib i think it is from the muses collection if i'm not mistaken and i do have to say that i'm a huge fan of leonardo ebonite writing instruments collections what do i find particularly nice about this fountain pens is something which haven't been mentioned uh, in this uh, video till this point i do find that the size is different it is smaller than the new Art Deco series and it is larger than the first edition. So it's in between there. But what's very, very special, it's the weight. Let's rewind to the weighing of this fountain pen. Capped, it was 32 grams and uncapped was 20 grams. Guess how much it weighs the other Art Deco Momento Zero Grande uh, series a fountain pen with the same piston filling mechanism and everything the same nib and all of that it is weighing like three grams almost four grams capped plus it is weighing like three grams uncapped two three grams uncapped i know that is not a lot of weight but it does feel different a lot more different if you are a fan of light fountain pens and you like oversized fountain pens, this is the one to get because it is an oversized fountain pen, but it is a lot more uh, wieldy and light than the other ones from Leonardo of Cina Italiana. And I've tested this myself. Other points that I like on this fountain pen is the fact that the Ebonite used is, is very high quality. 100 fountain pens for each color. We do have some left in our inventory. And if you are looking for such a fountain pen, it's available at Penventure. Down below, you will find the links for it. Go there, check it out, get the one which you like in the nib size that you like. And if you are looking for a particular writing experience, leave some directions for me to follow in the order notes and I will check and adjust your nib according to what you have mentioned pretty much this is it in regards of the masterpiece Ebonite collection uh, it is nice to be back in the saddle for this video review it's been some time since we haven't had any videos like this and i do hope you find this content useful and if you enjoyed it and if it's practical and you like it don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. This will help me a lot with the YouTube algorithm. If you are looking for an extra writing instrument, this one or any other, down below you'll find the details for our website, our social media accounts, phone number, email, anything and everything that you may need to get in contact with us. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for spending your time with me on the Penventure YouTube channel on this review. If you want to support the growth of the Penventure YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe. You can do that very quickly. Just click there, turn the notification bell on, and you will be notified whenever we have new content. If you want to continue watching my videos, I'm gonna leave you this right here. You can click and enjoy. As always, I'm your host, Amy from Penventure. I look forward to seeing you next video. Take care, stay strong, bye-bye.